Hi, this is Drew Loker, and I'm going to record part three, making a movie in Picasso. Didn't quite get it all in in part two or part one. All right, a few things we need to show in this particular clip. After you've got your selected images into the timeline down at the bottom, there's a few things that you can do and you'll want to do. One of the first is rearrange any images. You can do that at the area before you move them into the movie, but if you get to this particular stage and see, you know, hey, this picture needs to be in a different order, you can click on the image and drag it to a different position. For example, I would like to open with these first few images here, and I'm going to drag this particular welcome sign to the beginning of the video. The next step is to edit a few of the slides of the titles. When you click on the title slide that's been inserted by default, and you click on the tab slide, you'll be able to uh, edit the slide. For example, I changed the default album property and name of the album to just simply Yosemite. And I'm going to type in the year of the trip. You also have control over the template. I'm feeling lucky does a nice little title in the, in the middle. The problem is it doesn't let you duplicate the slide because it tends to slide into position. The only challenge is if you want the intro slide to stay on the screen longer than all of the other slides, like if you've defaulted to four seconds for all of the pictures but you want the intro slide to stay there for eight seconds, you have to duplicate it. So you might need to play around with what you use for the, uh, the template. When we go back to the movie, a tab you'll see in addition here that I did not cover in tutorial 2 is the different types of transitions. Now for some reason it's defaulted to uh, time lapse for me so I'm going to change that back to what should probably be used and that is dissolve. Four second is a good start if you've got about 20 slides and overlap of 20 to 30 percent is good. The resolution dimensions of 720p will also be good. After you've moved your slides into position, you've got the right uh, music loaded. There's one other thing about the music. You have a couple options with the music. One of them is to fit photos into audio, which means it'll expand the duration of the photos to fit the song, or you can truncate the audio. This does cause an abrupt drop-off of the audio at the end. Or you can say, let my photos loop so that it replays the slideshow while the mu is, music is playing. All right, I hope this helps, and this should be all that you need to know. The final step would be to create movie, which will make an exported ABI version. And you can also click and directly upload it to YouTube. My recommendation is create the movie first, then come back and do the YouTube.